Hi, I'm Sherry. I want to welcome you to my studio today. When I did this piece, I was working on a landscape and I called it done even though I never have been satisfied with it. So I am going to do a collage. Now I have done a collage under cold wax before using gel medium, but never on top of wax using wax so this will be something new for me and I found these papers in this um, wood veneer that change the feeling quite a bit so I'm gonna go with that now my thought is that this will be a pretty thick application of wax and so it will have to dry it quite a bit whoops before I move on to the next layer. Let me get out of So I'm just going to take a few minutes here today to spread out some wax. And you're going to see when I see if this works. <laughs> Probably should have remixed that a little bit. Yeah, I'm seeing that. Strong enough to hold this, but not strong enough to hold this. I have to back butter this, I think. Gonna put it on kind of thick. There we go. Well, that'll take a while to dry, won't it? Let me push that down with the credit. Oh, so I've had the crud. This is not craft paper. It's something my husband brought me a long time ago from his office, the end of a roll of brown paper, and it's not craft paper, so I'm not sure what it is, but it's much thinner, and I love it. I love the how thin it is. Sure hope this works. You know, have y'all ever done this where you're just going to come do something for a few minutes and you don't put on your gloves and you don't... <laughs> okay, right there. So I don't have on my gloves and I didn't protect my surface. And apparently, even though this green is like ages old, some of it is still transferring. Look at that. Surprising me. Like this is several months old. Okay it for today. I'm going to take some golden black ink 
and a painting pen and do some some Simic writing a Simic writing and of course it's beating up because it's on wax but this is a color called golden black and a Simic writing is fake writing and of course this is just a layer this is a painting pen I love it this doesn't have as much wax as the early the this does whoops and you have to be careful not to clog up the pen but it does come with a little doodad to clean it out and this actually does look like my writing because I am a messy messy writer you should see my signature Alright, I think I'm going to stencil some onto this now. Not, not a solid over the whole thing, but just here and there. I'm using a Shiva paint stick. And a stencil brush. When you stencil with oils, you it works a little bit differently, not a ton, but use a short haired brush, especially if you decide to pick it up off of this directly. I scribbled it out, but you can do it either way. My idea here is to get something non-linear going over a lot of this to unify it. Whoops! Now, where was I? Ha! I know I can repeat this if I line it up right. There we go. <laughs> And since this is a oil paint stick, it should be fairly fast drying. Because it's such a thin layer. I mean, first of all, there's not as much oil in a paint stick. And second, it is... I'm sorry, I can't talk. Here we go. No, I thought this had a repeat. Am I totally wrong about that? I think I'm totally, no, it has a repeat. I'm just not finding it. Ah. Da da. Again, this is pretty subtle. Okay, leave this on under the fan for a while and clean up my. Now I'm to the point where I would really like some contrast. So, this green is a little bit bluey, so I thought I would use an orangish type of red. And I'm going to start again by doing some stenciling with iridescent watermelon. And then I'll move on to an orange shade of red. The green stenciling has been drying for a while and should be all the way dry. 
And again, I'm going for a light application of this color because I'm going to come back in with a heavier application of an actual red. I really, really, really love iridescent. I've, this is the first I've used a Marabou Art Crayon. Oh, now that's a pretty color. So I'll probably use, because of this, probably, ooh, who knows? I'll probably do something right this second. <laughs> Those are nice, very creamy. These are nice too to apply directly, but because of the wider mouth, it's a little more tricky. I really don't like this in here. So, taking a little bit of Citrusol which is dangerous because it actually is strong enough to cut into the lower layers. And I'm going to remove a lot of it. I'm going to remove most of it <laughs> over here. Okay, and then I'm going to come back in and add some of this over that magenta. Much better. Thanks for watching my video. Please leave it any questions or comments you might have and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you'll subscribe.